Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, green trapezoid whose bases are represented by 7x minus 20 and 3x plus 5. And its median is represented by 2x plus 3. And its height is represented by 2x minus 1. And now we are going to find the area of this uh, green trapezoid. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's the definition of a trapezoid. And trapezoid is also called trapezium, a quadrilateral with at least one pair of parallel sides. In our case, these sides are parallel to each other and these are called the bases of this uh, trapezoid. And here's our very first step. In order to find the area of this green trapezoid, we must find the value of x first. And now let's recall the median of a trapezoid. It is the line segment that joins the midpoints of the non-parallel sides as you can see in this uh, diagram. And here in our case, M and N are the midpoints of these side lengths. Now let me go ahead and label this uh, top base of this trapezoid. I'm going to represent it with lowercase a and this bottom one with the lowercase b. Then our this median Mn is going to be equal to a plus b divided by 2. This is the formula we will be using. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. In our case, the median of this trapezoid is Mn, which is uh, 2x plus uh, 3 equals to, and in our case, our base A is uh, 7x minus 20, and then uh, plus uh, our base B is uh, 3x plus 5 divided by 2. Now let's go ahead and simplify this thing. On the left hand side we got 2x plus 3. On the right hand side let's combine these like terms on the numerator. That is going to give us 10x minus 15 divided by 2. Now let's go ahead and remove this fraction by just multiplying 2 on the left and 2 on the right hand side as well. And we can go ahead and uh, distribute this thing that is going to give us uh, 4x plus 6 uh, equals 2 here. This 2 and 2 is gone. So we ended up with uh, 10x minus uh, 15. Now let's go ahead and subtract 4x from both sides. This is gone. So we ended up with 6 equal to 6x minus 15. Let's add 15 on both sides. This is gone. So we ended up with 6x equals to 21. And now let's divide both sides by 6. So the right hand side reduces to x equal to 7 divided by 2. And this is our x value. So thus we figured out our x value which is 7 divided by 2. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and calculate the value of these bases A and B and this height H. By just simply plugging in this uh, x value 7 divided by 2 over here wherever we see x. I'm going to replace that one and likewise over here as well. And now let's focus on this uh, top base which is A. We are going to calculate the value of this A now. And here I have copied it down. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. In our case X is 7 divided by 2. Let me go ahead and just replace that one. 7 times 7 divided by 2 minus 20. And that is going to give us 7 times 7 is 49 divided by 2 and this uh, 20 could be written as negative 40 divided by 2. Therefore we can write 49 minus 40 with a common denominator 2. 
so therefore our a value turns out to be 9 divided by 2 so thus our top base a equals to 9 divided by 2 and now let's calculate this bottom base b which is represented by 3x plus 5 and here I have copied down 3x plus 5 let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in our case x is 7 divided by 2 so this is going to become 3 times 7 divided by 2 plus 5 now let's go ahead and multiply that's going to give us 21 divided by 2 plus this 5 could be written as 10 divided by 2 so that could be written as 21 plus 10 divided by 2 so thus our base b turns out to be 31 divided by 2 so thus we figured out b equals to 31 divided by 2 and finally let's go ahead and calculate this height h which is represented by 2x minus 1 and here i have copied down 2x minus 1 let's go ahead and fill in the blanks x in our case is 7 divided by 2 minus 1 and here we can see this 2 and 2 cross each other out we got 7 minus 1 which is equal to 6 so therefore our height h turns out to be 6 units so thus our height h turns out to be 6 units and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this green trapezoid now and here's the formula area of a trapezoid equals to h times a plus b divided by 2 and in our case h is 6 a is 9 divided by 2 and b is 31 divided by 2 let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this formula so area a is going to be h in our case is 6 times a is 9 divided by 2 plus b is 31 divided by 2 everything is divided by 2 now we can see this 2 divides into 6 uh, 3 times so therefore we are going to write uh, 3 times uh, 9 divided by 2 plus uh, 31 divided by 2 and now let's focus on these fractions in the parentheses 9 divided by 2 plus 31 divided by 2 I have just copied them down and I added them up and it turns out to be 20 so therefore this could be written as 3 times this turns out to be 20 so 3 times 20 is 60 so the area of this green trapezoid turns out to be 60 square units so thus the area of this green trapezoid turns out to be 60 square units thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye